Medicine's next frontier. Researchers are looking into things that live on us and in us to treat some very harsh bacterial infections. Meg Terrell has more. For centuries, we've believed bacteria could only be bad for us. But more recent research has shown the trillions of bugs that live in and on our bodies can actually be integral to our health. There is uh, 10 times more bacterial cells that live in and on us than we actually have human cells. And it turns out that there is a more and more so a link between those organisms that live in on us and some of our health state or disease states. It's called the microbiome, and companies are starting to mine it for its potential in all kinds of diseases, from rheumatoid arthritis to diabetes to cancer. Earlier this year, health giant Johnson & Johnson formed a microbiome institute. It's partnering with smaller companies and academic labs to develop new medicines. Because the science of the microbiome is really at an inflection point where we, we should start to see the translation from the basic science to new medicines, new diagnostics that are really going to change the face of, of human health. One way medicine's already putting the microbiome to work is through treatment of C. difficile, characterized by the CDC as a superbug. It's often associated with use of antibiotics, and it affects as many as 500,000 Americans every year and kills about 29,000 people. How are you feeling? Registered nurse Natalie Gervich was diagnosed four years ago after taking a course of antibiotics for strep throat. When it returned earlier this year, traditional medicines didn't help. I realized that next time I take antibiotics, even if I recover this time, I would have 65% chance of developing C. diff again. And I really didn't want to be a hostage to these conditions. In April, Natalie underwent what's known as FMT, fecal microbiota transplant, a procedure shown to have a 90% cure rate for C. difficile infection. It involves the infusion of a one person's um, fecal material, it's a fecal suspension that we make, into another person's gastrointestinal tract. Dr. Katerina Onetto says patients often start feeling better almost immediately, and Natalie says the procedure worked for her. Dr. Onetto is about to start a clinical trial of FMT in irritable bowel syndrome, partnered with Yale and Montefiore Medical Centers and nonprofit Open Biome. Startup company Series Therapeutics is working on the same problem. It's developed a pill that aims to do the same thing, restore a balance within the microbiome that eliminates C. difficile. The company is filed to go public. Its ticker, MCRB. The microbiome's already gained steam in medicine, and now it's about to debut on Wall Street. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.